love to hear from Philip about like how did this get founded? How did you get started? What is your story and background to this? Sure, I'd love to share that. Um, so I'm, a, I'm a, a professional geologist. I do landscape geology work, environmental geology work, and for almost 30 years I've been a conservationist, um, mostly in the Colorado River Basin when I, when I was younger. And I was a, I became an expert boat, boatman, um, a commercial boatman on the Grand Canyon. I would lead 20, 25 day trips, and I was contacted as a geologist and as a boatman by a film company that wanted to uh, make a film about the, about the Colorado River. So I, did, I, I guided and led three trips for this film crew down the Colorado River, 25 days, 20 people. It was quite, it's, it's quite involved. And um, the filmmaker, the producer, and I, this is the, oh, 25 years ago, the film producer and I became fast friends. And he said, I have projects in Sri Lanka and India, and uh, I'd like to have you help because I'm really good at research and logistics. And um, so I did. We did three films in Sri Lanka, a couple in India like almost 20 years ago. One was called Elephants of Paradise. It was about the, the elephants of Sri Lanka. And, and we followed around a vet, uh, the state, uh, the country's veterinarian as he did a, his uh, elephant relocations and other uh, dart medication for sick, ele sick elephants. And um, I fell in love with the people and uh, the ele elephants. So over the succeeding years, um, the next 10 years, I monitored what was going on there. And, and I have a, a, a geowandering.com, a, a tour company, where I guide, guide people all over the world beyond this, the Grand Canyon, and uh, as well you know, do conservation-based work. Um, but anyway, in so doing, I, I found that the Sri Lankan government was doing bad things, actually taking, stealing habitat from the elephants. Elephants were suffering. The numbers were dropping. And I couldn't have that, so all my profits were going to elephants from my tour company, and um, and I thought, well, I should found a nonprofit to get others to also contribute. So we did about five, six years ago. We established this nonprofit. So now all of our work is around Asian elephants. And at the same time, too, everybody's concerned about African elephants, and, and nobody, well, I found nobody concerned about Asian Asians. So um, we filled that void. I, I spoke with the Department of Wildlife. Um, the director of wildlife health in Sri Lanka, and he said nobody's involved. You know, like BBC, Discovery Channel, um, World Wildlife Fund, they, they pay lip, lip service, but they don't come and do anything. So I found this niche, you know, and I filled it. And uh, I think we're, we are one of the most popular of the uh, nonprofit NGOs yeah, doing this kind of work. So it's been very fulfilling to me. You look very fulfilled. Thank okay. you. Thank yeah. you so much.